Chapter 201, Drawing Thunder to Temper the Body Rumble Lin Dong stood on the summit of a mountain with a somewhat stiff expression as he stared at the frantically flickering lightning that snaked through the skies. Under the skies that were densely covered with lightning clouds, his figure was as negligible as an ant. Lightning streaked across the horizon, some of it landing in the vast forest, turning the tall trees to coal in an instant. Threads of black smoke rose up to the clouds, a sight that caused Lin Dong's heart to beat rapidly. Oh, not bad. Just right for cultivating the great sun thunder body. Little Martin floated by Lin Dong's side as it gazed at the black lightning clouds in the sky and heartlessly said. In response, the corners of Lin Dong's eyes could do nothing but twitch. He turned around to look at Little Flame, who had hidden itself a far distance away, and could not help but silently curse, useless thing. All right, time to start kid, Little Martin took no notice of Lin Dong's incessant complaints, as it waved its claws before withdrawing and creating a certain distance between it and Lin Dong. From the looks of it, it was also afraid of being struck by lightning. Upon seeing these two cowards competing to see who could flee the furthest, Lin Dong could only grit his teeth and say, If I get struck to death by lightning, my ghost will not let you off. Don't worry, you won't be struck to death, at most you will be heavily injured. Little Martin kindly consoled. Lin Dong rolled his eyes and finally gave up all thoughts of resistance. Accepting his fate, he sat on the edge of the mountaintop and looked down upon the vast forests below. He deeply exhaled as his expression slowly turned solemn. Although drawing lightning into the body was favorable for cultivating the great sun thunder body, it was also a huge risk. Lightning was after all overly violent. If one was not careful, one would not have a pleasant fate. With regards to the so-called danger and suffering, though Lin Dong constantly argued with Little Martin, when the time really came, he did not intend to retreat at all. His cultivation over the years has already polished his willpower to the extreme. Seated on the ground, Lin Dong grasped onto the ancient heavenly scales halberd which appeared in his hand. He lifted his head and fixed his eyes on the flickering silver snakes in the sky. A long time later, his arm suddenly shook as a Yuan power light beam suddenly shot out from the tip of the halberd, passing by numerous lightning snakes in the sky before hitting one of the thinnest lightning snakes. Lin Dong very clearly understood that rice needed to be eaten one mouthful at a time. Thus he did not chose the lightning that was even thicker than his thigh, but instead first found a smaller one. However, even if it was such a tiny lightning snake, its might was obviously not to be looked down upon. Boom! As the Yuan power light beam hit that lightning snake, an explosion immediately sounded out in the skies. Like a gigantic snake which had been roused, the lightning almost instantaneously revealed its sinister fangs. It flickered as it curled around the Yuan power beam, transforming into dazzling light which swiftly rushed towards Lin Dong, who was seated on the mountaintop. As he gazed at the lightning bolt that was rapidly growing in his eyes, Lin Dong inhaled deeply as golden Yuan power hastily enshrouded his body. The lightning was exceptionally quick as it swept forth. With a loud bang, it ruthlessly bombarded Lin Dong's body. Boom! A bright and eye dazzling thunderbolt exploded forth at the mountain top. Just as that lightning bolt reached his body, Lin Dong's body began to tremble violently. It was as if his whole body has been violently pounded by a 10,000 pound hammer, and every bones and muscle in his body began to release an squeaking sound due to that overwhelming force. Squeak, squeak! That thunderbolt was just like thousands of microscopic lightning sparks, as they surrounding around Lin Dong's body and directly melted into the golden Yuan power undulated on his body. Then, they entered into his body through every pore on his skin. As that electricity flowed into his body, a violent pain suddenly erupted in his body. Every cell in his body, seemed to have shrink due to that violent stimulation. Ah! A vigorous pain spread through every crevice of his body, until eventually a deep and pained growl was released from Lin Dong's throat, as he heavily slammed his fists on the ground ahead of him, causing cracks to emerge on that solid mountain boulder. Hurry up and activate Great Sun Thunder Body! Just as Lin Dong's body was seemingly about to ignite, 
Little Martin's voice swiftly sounded out beside his ears. When he heard Little Martin's voice, Lin Dong quickly recovered his senses. As he forcefully endured that extremely painful burning sensation inside his body, he began to activate Great Sun Thunder Body. As he activated Great Sun Thunder Body, a golden glow began to slowly spread out across his body, before it managed to counter against that violent lightning bolt that was invading his body. Gold and silver color was now intersecting inside Lin Dong's body. As gold and silver mixed together, it seemed extremely beautiful. Even though activating Great Sun Thunder body was definitely helpful, right now Lin Dong's entire body was completely numb. In fact, he could even hear the cells inside his body begin to cry. The power of the lightning bolt was too violent and it was extremely harmful towards his body. Without taking special measures, it would be suicide to draw lightning bolt to temper one's body. Thankfully, Lin Dong was not planning to commit suicide. Rather, since he possessed Great Sun Thunder Body, with regards to the violent power of a lightning bolt, he still had some means of resistance. Buzz Buzz! On top of the mountain, the lightning bolt turned into a hedgehog-like glow and wrapped around Lin Dong's body. In a near 30 meter radius, a lightning snake crawled across the ground, as microscopic explosive sounds continuously echoed forth. Even some debris rocks were directly blown into dust. When they saw this sight, standing far away, Little Martin and Little Flame quickly retreated even further. As demonic beasts, they were always somewhat fearful of the power of nature. As that lightning sparks flashed, within the lightning bolt, a golden glow could be faintly seen. Even though it was faint, it was becoming stronger at a gradual rate. As that golden glow became stronger, that forceful lighting spark actually began to gradually fuse with that golden glow. It's taking effect. When the first lightning spark fused with Great Sun Giant Body, Lin Dong's spirits were suddenly lifted, as he hurriedly tried to absorb this first trace of Yuan power into his body. Chi Chi! When that first trace of Yuan power surfaced in his body, the cells and flesh inside his body, which had now shriveled up after being excited by that violent thunderbolt, was once again revived as they greedily consumed that trace of Yuan power fused with lightning. When this trace of combination Yuan power was absorbed by the cells, flesh and organs inside his body, Lin Dong instantly felt that the numbness in his body began to gradually dissipate. As he sensed these changes, a delight surfaced in Lin Dong's heart. Then, he hurriedly activated Great Sun Thunder Body and begun to fuse his Yuan power with all the lightning sparks violently coursing through his body. As more and more of the lightning bolt's energy was being absorbed by Great Sun Giant Body, that sharp pain began to swiftly dissipate. It seems like Lin Dong's body had begun to gradually adapt. My body is becoming stronger. Streams of Great Sun Thunder Yuan which had been fused with lightning sparks was now being greedily devoured by Lin Dong's body. Thanks to that, Lin Dong could sense that both his inner and outer body was gradually being strengthened. This sensation was extremely clear and vivid. In fact, he could faintly feel that the amount of energy coursing through this flesh and bones was slowly growing. Use this Great Sun Thunder Yun infused with lightning to unlock your inner channels. Just as these Yuan power were coursing through his body, with a flick of his mind, Lin Dong directed these Yuan power towards a heavily blocked inner channel. Thanks to this powerful Yuan power, that heavily blocked inner channel was actually slowly being unblocked. Furthermore, its pace was several times faster than before. At this rate, in less than two hours, he would have successfully unlocked this inner channel. As he thought of this fact, an excited expression fleeted across Lin Dong's face. Promptly, he collected himself and focused all his attention on fusing his Yuan power with lightning sparks in order to temper his body and unlock his inner channels. On top of the mountain top, that lighting glow, which was just like a hedgehog, was slowly weakening. Meanwhile, the golden glow on Lin Dong's body was intensifying. In fact, on his skin, some grayish residue were being forced out. When these grayish residue dropped out and exposed the skin below. At that spot, it was now a light green color which seemed just like bronze. 
This lightning glow sustained for nearly an hour before it completely dissipated. When that lightning glow disappeared, Lin Dong suddenly opened both of his eyes, as a lightning-like glow sparkled in his eyes. He was extremely excited, evidently, he had tasted the benefits of drawing lightning to temper one's body. Lin Dong lowered his head as he touched his skin. He could sense that surging strength inside his body. This indicated that his body was gradually becoming tougher. Give me another lightning bolt and I can unlock one more inner channel. Lin Dong's lifted his head up and stared directly at the lightning bolts in the sky. This time, he no longer hesitated. As he jerked the ancient halberd in his hand, a Yuan power light beam directly exploded forth and once again connected with an even thicker lightning bolt. Boom! In the sky, a thunderous roar exploded forth. The lightning bolt was just like an enraged python as it viciously dashed down. Then, with a extremely menacing aura, it heavily slammed with a figure seated on top of the mountain top. The instance that lightning glow exploded forth, it lit up this forest. Meanwhile, that formidable lightning aura caused several demonic beasts to tremble. Faintly, one could hear a young man's hearty laughter spreading out together with that thunderous roar. Chapter 202, Swallowing the Thunderbolt The sky was filled with storm clouds as thunderous roars seemed to shroud the entire forest. Amidst these thunderous roars, numerous demonic beasts were shaking in fear, as they did not dare to make a single sound. Just as every beast in the world was silenced by the might of thunder, on top of a mountain peak, a light beam exploded forth from time to time and drew the thunderbolt down before an exceeding bright glow exploded forth. That glowing figure, that was shimmering amidst the lightning storm, was naturally Lin Dong. In total, he had sat under these storm clouds for nearly ten hours. During this period of time, he had absorbed the strength of eight lightning bolts. Furthermore, using the strength of these eight lightning bolts, he had continuously enhanced his body and even managed to unlock four inner channels. Overall, out of the 44 inner channels needed to master Great Sun Thunder Body, he had already unlocked 24 of them. Unblocking four inner channels in 10 hours' time, this pace was quite considerable. After all, under normal circumstances, even with help from pure Yuan pills, it would require several days' time before he could accomplish such a feat. The power of thunderbolts is indeed extraordinary. Huff. On top of the mountain peak, Lin Dong deeply exhaled a puff of white smoke. Amidst that white smoke, one could faintly detect some lightning sparks, it was truly an amazing sight. Opening his eyes, Lin Dong looked at the storm clouds in the sky. Right now, they have begun to exhibit signs of thinning out and these dark clouds seemed like they were about to dissipate. When he saw this situation, he involuntarily pursed his lips. After he discovered the benefits of drawing lightning bolts, he realized that he quite enjoyed the sensation. Lin Dong's palm stroked his arm. The skin there was now light green in color and it seemed like bronze. This was because his body had been gradually enhanced. Once his skin color turned bronze, it would indicate that he had mastered bronze thunder body. Of course, his skin's color will only turn bronze during a battle after he activated bronze thunder body. Else, his appearance will be simply too weird. After all, Lin Dong did not want to be seen as a green monster. Lin Dong extended out his palm, as a golden great body thunder Yuan ball floated in his palm. Hidden within that golden ball, one could detect some lightning sparks shimmering inside. That was because the lighting energy inside his body had not yet fully fused with his Yuan power. Buzz! Lin Dong sensed the remnants of lightning energy coursing through his body, just as he was about to activate Great Day Thunder Body to fuse the remaining energy, suddenly the destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace began to emit a weird buzzing sound. This sudden change caused Lin Dong to be slightly taken aback. Before he had time to recover his senses, the three destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace began to distort, before they turned into three soul symbol swirls while a suction force emerged from within. Due to this suction force, to Lin Dong's bewilderment, the remaining lightning energy inside his body dashed across his body, 
before they flew into his Nguyen Palace and was completely absorbed by those three soul symbol swirls. When the remaining lightning energy was absorbed by these soul symbol swirls, Lin Dong could clearly feel a trace of electricity swirling around his destiny soul symbols. Furthermore, when these electrical sparks appeared, Lin Dong realized that his mental energy had stealthily became more solidified. That transformation was just as if his mental energy had been cleansed by that lightning energy. This. When he witnessed this sight, Lin Dong was slightly distraught as this was the first time that he heard that mental energy could actually absorb the power from lightning. After all, the great sun thunder Yuan in his body could only fuse with that electrical power. However, right now, his destiny soul symbols directly consumed that electrical power. The difference between these two was not a trivial one. Lin Dong was stunned for a while before he finally recovered his sense. With a glint in his eyes, a stream of mental energy shot forth from his eyes. Right now, that originally formless mental energy had a trace of electric spark faintly hidden within. As it howled forth, its destructive potential was much stronger than before. Evidently, after his destiny soul symbols absorbed the electrical power, it had enhanced his mental energy. Is this due to the destiny soul symbols? Lin Dong's eyes sparkled. He knew that the reason was likely due to the destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace. These things have always been exceedingly magical and not only could they absorb others' mental energy for his own use, but now, they could even absorb the power from lightning. Such a formidable destiny symbol. When he realized this situation, a tinge of delight surged inside Lin Dong's heart. The magical abilities of his soul symbols are truly too formidable. Furthermore, according to Little Martin, these soul symbols were merely imitations of ancestral symbols. Therefore, one can only imagine just how powerful these real ancestral symbols would be. In that case, I could make use of this to temper my mental energy, Lin Dong lifted his head as he stared at the rapidly dissipating clouds. Suddenly, he laughed as he pointed his fingers towards the sky and released a Yuan power light beam. This time, he directly chose a lightning bolt that was as thick as his thigh. Boom! As it faced Lin Dong's provocation, that lightning bolt released an enraged roar, before it turned into a lightning beam and dashed down. Lin Dong lifted his head. Staring at that incoming lightning beam, he gently smiled. With a flick of his mind, the three destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace emerged, before they turned into three soul symbol swirls above his head. This fellow, what is he trying to do, standing far away, when little Martin saw this sight, he was instantly shocked. Boom! That lightning beam viciously slammed against his three palm-sized soul symbol swirls. However, the destruction of these symbols did not materialize. Rather, as these three soul symbol swirls started swirling viciously, a formidable suction force emerged and continuously consumed that violent electrical power. As he saw that lightning beam that was swiftly dissipating, a thick look of awe flashed across little Martin's eyes. Moments later, he muttered to himself, this fellow is truly daring. He actually dares to consume the power of lightning. Nonetheless, it must be said that his destiny soul symbols are truly formidable. Just a mere imitation, yet they actually possess the suction powers of ancestral symbol. Perhaps due to that reason, he might actually be able to obtain that legendary ancestral symbol. Buzz buzz. After that lighting beam was completely consumed by these three soul symbol swirls, these swirls gradually became more resplendent as lightning sparks continuously shimmered within. Hua hua. When that lightning beam completely dissipated, within his three soul symbol swirls, a water gushing sound echoed out. Due to this noise, Lin Dong felt his mind gradually becoming sharper. Meanwhile, the mental energy inside his soul symbols was also growing stronger and turning more solidified at an astounding rate. Huff! The lightning glow sparkled for nearly ten minutes before it gradually dissipated. Then, the three soul symbol swirls, with traces of electrical power, dashed back inside Lin Dong's Nguyen Palace before they turned silent again. After consuming that lightning bolt, 
Lin Dong could feel that his mental energy was at least two times stronger than before. At this rate, it was only a matter of time before he advanced to fourth seal symbol master. Furthermore, this rapid progress did not come at the expense of his health. That was because this lightning power possessed the ability to temper one's body, hence he had not have to worry about any side effects. Such a wonderful object! Lin Dong's eyes sparkled. In his eyes, this lightning bolt that most people would die to avoid, was a perfect nourishment. Not only could it temper his body, unlock his inner channels, it could even boost his mental energy. It's such a pity that the storm clouds have begun to dissipate, Lin Dong lifted his head as he stared at the storm clouds, that were scattering off just like a tidal wave, with a tinge of regret. If he could continue his training, then his progress would be quite substantial. Of course, this regretful state only lasted for a while. After all, Lin Dong was prepared to traverse through the mountainous range and therefore he would naturally encounter much stormy weather. In the future, he would definitely make good use of such opportunities. After all, this was a shortcut to boost his cultivation rate and Lin Dong would naturally never give up on such an opportunity. Huff! After he gently exhaled, Lin Dong stood up and kept his ancient halberd. Then, turning to look at Little Flame and Little Martin, who were standing afar, he instantly grumbled out, What are you looking at, let's go! Growl! When it heard Lin Dong's voice, Little Flame instantly growled before it leapt over. Using its head to fawn on Lin Dong, it seemingly ignored the fact that there were still demonic beast remnants sticking on its head. Kid, are you alright? Little Martin floated forth, before he landed on his shoulders and asked with a twinkly smile. Lin Dong rolled his eyes. Staring at the disappearing storm clouds, a smile surfaced on his lips before he said, it was a pleasant sensation. In the future, I shall train like this. Little Martin was stunned as he was somewhat taken aback. Evidently, he never expected that Lin Dong had actually become addicted to this sensation. Instantly, he shook his head as he muttered, what a sicko. With regards to his muttering, Lin Dong could not be bothered with it. The power of lightning was extremely important to him. Even though it was painful at first, the pain he experienced was nothing compared to the benefits that he gained. Let's go. For the remaining journey, I will try to unlock all my inner channels as soon as possible. After all, without sufficient strength, I cannot hope to obtain that so-called ancestral symbol. Lin Dong smiled as he stretched his back. Then, leaping onto Little Flame's back, his lips released a soft whistle. Instantly, the latter roared and turned into a fiery red shadow and dashed forth. That fellow is truly addicted to training. Hat, however his tenacity is pretty remarkable. At this rate, it would be possible for him to catch up with Lin Lang Tian. As he stared at Lin Dong's back, small Martin smiled. With his claws behind his back, he gently floated behind him. Chapter 203, Little Flame in Danger The Great Yan Empire was large and spacious. At least from Lin Dong's point of view, its land area could be considered humongous. That was because even after traveling for two months through the vast forests, he had yet to see or reach its end. On a giant tree inside the forest, a figure was standing perfectly straight as he stared at lush woodlands that extended before him. At this moment, his mental state seemed extremely calm. This figure seemed slightly hideous. His hair was touching his shoulders while his clothes were in tatters. Even though his appearance was slightly hideous, he gave off a formidable aura just like a powerful weapon. Within his calm eyes, a faint glow shimmered. It seemed like there was a ferocious tiger hidden within him that was ready to bear its fangs at any time. This figure was naturally Lin Dong. Over these two months, he had lived a primitive lifestyle, and would battle against demonic beasts every day. Even though this journey had been exceedingly tiring and dangerous, it proved extremely beneficial for Lin Dong. After all, the battle experience that he accumulated from all these battles was not something that he could gain from closed-door training. One would never become genuinely strong solely by sitting down and cultivating for tens or over a hundred years. 
A soft breeze blew by as it rattled some of Lin Dong's tattered clothes. Right now, the skin below his clothes seemed somewhat dark green. However, this dark green glow was not a permanent fixture, it only faintly appeared before disappearing again. Ever since he experienced the tremendous benefits from drawing lightning bolts, Lin Dong had become addicted to it. Therefore, in the following days, whenever storm clouds appeared, he would immediately leap onto a mountain peak and draw lightning bolts in order to temper his body and mental energy. Thanks to this training that most ordinary people would consider insane, Lin Dong's progress was quite substantial. Out of the 44 channels of Great Sun Thunder Body, he had unlocked 43 of them. Only the last channel continued to hold out. After unblocking so many channels, the Yuan power inside Lin Dong's body had almost completely transformed into Great Sun Thunder Yuan. Hence, his battle power had grown by at least two or three folds since the day he departed from Yan City. Right now, if he fought against City Lord Shi, he had every confidence that he would not struggle like before. Furthermore, his body had become increasingly stronger thanks to these lightning bolts. Even though he had yet to master the bronze thunder body, Lin Dong had every confidence that with just his body alone, even without using any Yuan power, he could match up against a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner. While his body and Yuan power became stronger, Lin Dong's mental energy was also being cleansed by the lightning power. Currently, inside his Nguyen Palace, cracks had once again begun to surface on the destiny soul symbol in the center. This indicated that the fourth seal was about to appear. Once this fourth seal appeared, Lin Dong would have advanced to the fourth seal symbol master. At that time, even an initial form creation stage practitioner would not pose any threat to him. In fact, he would even be able to match up against an advanced form creation stage practitioner. Huff! On top of that giant tree, Lin Dong suddenly exhaled a puff of white smoke, as he carefully monitored the multitude of changes inside his body. Moments later, his eyebrows furrowed as he muttered to himself, this final channel, is so difficult to unlock. The Great Sun Thunder body only had 43 inner channels. However, after the stone talisman refined it, an additional one was created. Nonetheless, it was extremely difficult to unlock this final inner channel. Even though Lin Dong had absorbed ten lightning bolts, he was still unable to unlock it. Hence, from this fact alone, one could deduce just how insurmountable this task was. Furthermore, if he did not manage to unlock this final inner channel, Lin Dong would not be able to fully activate the Great Sun Thunder Body which would in turn also disrupt his cultivation of the Bronze Thunder Body. This final channel is indeed exceedingly difficult to unlock. Furthermore, the Destiny Soul symbol in your Nguyen Palace has also reached a critical juncture. Once you make this final step, your strength will surge. Little Martin hovered behind Lin Dong, before it spoke. Lin Dong helpless shook his head. It seemed like he could only wait patiently for that moment to arrive. Right now, we should be within Daeang province and this is already quite a distance from Tian Dug province. Based on our current speed, we should arrive at the Great Desolate province in approximately three months. Lin Dong removed a map from his Qunkin bag, and looked at it for a while, before he spoke. In the remaining time, I must unlock that final channel and master the bronze thunder body. Slightly gripping his fists, Lin Dong had a determined expression in his eyes. The great desolate province was extremely dangerous and chaotic. In fact, even a person like him, who had never traveled before, knew how dangerous and chaotic it was. At that place, if one is not skilled, one would likely suffer. Go, let the training continue. As he kept the map in his hand, a glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Like a giant hawk, he swept into the forest. Waving the ancient halberd in his hand, a tyrannical glow exploded forth, enraging several wild beasts inside the forest, and causing them to roar in response. Meanwhile, a rich Yuan power vibration began to spread out inside the forest. Bang! Inside the dense forest, a figure and a giant demonic beast viciously collided against each other. Despite the mismatch of their body sizes, 
a surprising result emerged as the larger demonic beast was directly blown away, drawing a deep scratch mark on the ground. However, before this enraged demonic beast could retaliate, the figure in front of it dashed forth again, as an exceedingly powerful finger attack heavily slammed against its head, and with a plop sound, blood instantly spurted out. After he pierced through the demonic beast's steel-like skull using a finger, a smile surfaced on Lin Dong's face, as he casually wiped off the blood on his finger. The power of this demonic beast outclassed that of a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner. However, Lin Dong was able to finish it off with a single blow. While he was traversing through the vast woods, Lin Dong had encountered all kinds of demonic beasts. In fact, some of these demonic beasts' aura was every more terrifying than Lin Longdian's. Thankfully, Little Martin would warn him in advance and this helped him to survive. Else, if he encountered any one of them, he would definitely die. Lin Dong sat down on the ground as he removed the demonic crystal from the demonic beast's head. He then closed his eyes as he began to rest and wait for Little Flame, who was scavenging for food, to return. Lin Dong waited for approximately half an hour, before he began to furrow his eyebrows. Little Flame usually would not be away for such a long time. As he furrowed his eyebrows, traces of mental energy swiftly gushed out from Lin Dong's Nguyen Palace, before it began to spread out. Hmm. A short time after his mental energy spread out, Lin Dong's facial expression suddenly changed as he immediately stood up. With a dark expression on his face, he looked towards the west. At that area, he could sense Little Flame's presence. However, he could also sense several human presences as well. This was the first time that Lin Dong had detected so many humans in one place after spending such a long period in the forest. However, this time around, it did not seem like good news. His gaze flashed, as Lin Dong's feet tapped against the ground, and he deftly dashed inside the woods, rushing towards that area where he had sensed their presence. Inside this woodland that was made up of giant trees, there was an empty area filled with dried leaves. Currently, there were several people in that empty space, while a few hurried shouts sounded out. Ha, this fire python tiger has actually grown to such an extent. This is truly a rare sight. Capture it. If we can raise it properly, it would be extremely beneficial. In that empty space, a young man dressed in black clothes was staring fervently at a majestic fiery red fire python tiger that was being surrounded by a group of men. The tail of this ferocious tiger was a blood-red giant python which was hissing at them, as a faint bloody smell spread forth. This was indeed Little Flame, which had went to forage for food. Around this young man, were several people. From the looks of it, his status was not low. Moreover, these people were extremely well coordinated, creating a formation which completely protected this young man. When they heard the young man's words, the people surrounding Little Flame instantly responded. As Yuan power gushed forth, the ropes in their hands were thrown towards Little Flame. Growl. As it faced their attack, Little Flame's eyes turned feverish red. It stepped forward, and turned into a fiery red shadow to avoid the ropes. Its claws danced, as some of these unlucky fellows were immediately ripped apart. Young master, this fire python tiger is indeed unique. Even a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner cannot handle it easily. This is truly peculiar, how can a fire python tiger be so strong, beside the young man dressed in black clothes, a middle-aged man furrowed his eyebrows, staring at the ferocious little flame as he said. Ha! If it was not for that fact, why would this young master be interested in this beast? Uncle CAO, lead two perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners and capture this wild beast. Do it quickly, else we ruin father's affairs. The young man dressed in black clothes casually laughed as he said. Yes. Upon hearing these words, the middle-aged man instantly responded. Promptly. He waved his hand as two other men beside him walked forth. Their aura was especially formidable. Evidently, they had both advanced to the perfect Yuan Dan stage. Do it. Evidently, the three of them often worked together, and hence, 
they had good chemistry between them. As their bodies moved, they formed a triangle formation and directly trapped Little Flame inside. Growl. When Little Flame saw that its scope of movement had been limited, it instantly roared in rage. A claw attack powerful enough to break a rock boulder was viciously directed towards the trio. Ignorant beast, how dare you resist? When they saw Little Flame resisting, the three perfect Yu and Dan stage practitioners snorted simultaneously. The trio instantly made their move, as their Yu and power seemingly merged together and forcefully trapped Little Flame. Then, three large hands viciously jabbed at Little Flame's body. Bang! As Yu and power gushed forth, Little Flame was directly blown back. However, it did not suffer much injuries. Nonetheless, it was so enraged that its eyes turned blood red. This beast has such strong defenses. It is indeed very interesting. When that young man in black saw that the combined attack by three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners did not cause much damage to Little Flame, he was immediately delighted as he exclaimed. Binding Finger The three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners looked at each other, before they simultaneously took a step forward. Straightening two of their fingers, a Yuan power light beam suddenly shot forth just like a rope, turning into a complex noose in mid-air, before it fell and solidly bounded Little Flame. Growl. When its body was tied up, Little Flame started to resist manically. However, it was forcefully held down by the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Stupid beast, let's see how you resist. When they saw Little Flame being tied up, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners chuckled. Nearby, the young man dressed in black clothes also smiled in delight. Swoosh! However, just as the rest of them prepared to tie up Little Flame, an exceedingly powerful force suddenly exploded forth from the forest, and shattered the Yuan power bindings. Who? This sudden development caused the faces of the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners to change as they sternly shouted out. TCH. However, their shouts did not manage to draw any verbal response, rather, an exceptionally powerful halberd shadow was their reply. Chapter 204, Dian Province's De Family. You're courting death. When the formidable halberd shadow swept forth, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners were momentarily stunned, but soon after, their expressions darkened. With a furious shout, the three of them struck together, as vigorous Yuan power gushed forth and ferociously smashed against the halberd attack. Bang! At the moment of contact, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners' expressions swiftly changed. This time, they clearly felt the terrifying energy within the halberd. This power had already long surpassed the perfect Yuan Dan stage. A strong gale erupted from the epicenter directly blowing away the dry leaves on the ground, as the sorry figures of three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners flew backwards. When they landed, they nearly bounced up again in the air. Upon seeing the three prefect Yuan Dan stage practitioners defeated after by the first attack, the surrounding crowd immediately cried out. Who? The youth in black's expression turned a little cold, as he frostily stared at the forest and shouted in a low voice. Swish. As the youth in black's shout echoed out, a wind sound was heard. Soon after, a strong and healthy figure flew out of the forest and landed beside Little Flame, while coldly staring at the former. When they saw the person who had appeared, the youth in black and the three prefect Yu and Dan stage practitioners were stunned. Evidently, they did not expect that the former would be so young. Fortunately, they were somewhat able to judge that although the person before them looked young, his aura was rather formidable. Evidently, he was a talented and capable individual. May I ask that everyone not to attack my companion indiscriminately, isn't this a little impolite? The one who had swiftly rushed over and shown himself was naturally Lin Dong. He stretched out a hand and completely removed the Yuan power bindings on Little Flame, as a little anger flashed across his eyes while he spoke out in an indifferent tone. Upon hearing this, the youth in black slightly narrowed his eyes. Soon after, he chuckled as he said, Friend, 
I am quite interested in this fire python tiger of yours. Since you're its owner, sell it to me. I will give you a most satisfying price. Although his words hinted at a discussion, his tone indicated that he was not going to give Lin Dong much choice. Lin Dong's voice remained calm as he glanced at the youth, not selling. After seeing how blunt Lin Dong was, the youth in black was taken aback, as his expression slightly darkened. Kid, don't be unappreciative of his kindness. Our young master is part of Daeang province's Di family. When Lin Dong's words sounded out, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners sternly shouted in reply. Daeang province, the Di family. Lin Dong's eyebrows slightly raised. He had naturally never heard of this family, and even if he did, what about it? He had dared to rob even Wang Yan from the Wang clan, what kind of trash did this Li family think it was? Let's go. Lightly patting the still aggressive little flame, Lin Dong could not be bothered with this group, and turned to leave. Stubborn fool. Upon seeing that Lin Dong intended to leave, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners' expressions darkened. Their gazes turned towards the youth in black, and after seeing the latter coldly nod his head, vigorous Yuan power suddenly erupted from the trio's bodies. Though they had suffered a little earlier, they believed that it was only because they had been caught off guard. They did not believe that such a young kid would be a match for the three of them. Bang! Three figures lifted off the ground. Like vultures swooping down towards their prey, they attacked Lin Dong, while Yuan Power gushed about their extremely formidable claw attacks. Wind Tearing Claw An ear-piercing buzzing wind sound echoed out, as the trio's claw attacks blocked off Lin Dong's path of retreat. The trio's combined might was enough to force a perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner to his death. When he sensed the formidable approaching attacks, Lin Dong's footsteps paused, as his expression slowly turned ice cold. He extended a hand and gently patted Little Flame, just as it intended to leap forward and attack, before turning around and lifting his head. Cold eyes glared at the three incoming perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Kid. Don't blame us since you've rejected our kindness. When they were practically on top of Lin Dong, the trio sneered, as the force on their hands grew increasingly powerful. Bang! However, the sneers on their faces did not last for long. Bright golden light suddenly exploded before their eyes, as they saw a fist covered in golden light ruthlessly smashing towards them in an extremely unreasonable way. There was nothing special about this fist only a power within it that was unreasonable to the max. In the face of this kind of power, the trio's combined attack crumbled in a flash, as the fist danced through the air before heavily slamming into their claw-like hands. Crack! All of a sudden, a faint bone-breaking sound rang out. Soon after, the crowd watched as the originally ferociously attacking trio once again flew backwards. Along they way, they continuously vomited several mouthfuls of blood before their sorry figures smashed into a huge towering tree. As they watched the three flying figures, the area turned much quieter, such that even the youth in black's smile turned stiff for a moment. Evidently, he did not expect that Lin Dong was actually able to so effortlessly crush the combined efforts of three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. The youth in black's eyes slightly narrowed as he gazed at Lin Dong whose body had yet to move from the spot. A chill faintly emerged in the youth's expression, he he, I did not think that we would meet such a problematic person here. However, now that you've beaten my Di family members, you are in quite a lot of trouble. While the youth in black spoke, the surrounding crowd stared at Lin Dong with ill intent, as they surrounded him. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong's expression darkened. He glared at the youth in black and slowly said, I can't be bothered to bicker with you over the fact that you've hurt my companion, but if you continue to be so foolish, no matter what kind of trashy di family you're from, I will beat you all. You've got guts. Upon hearing these words, the corners of the youth in black's eyes twitched, as his expression also turned ice cold. Soon after, he gently lifted his hand. TCH. After seeing that this guy was still not willing to give up, Lin Dong completely lost his patience. 
his hand grasped onto the ancient heavenly scales halberd, as resplendent golden yuan power gushed forth. Soon after, his figure transformed into a golden light and swept forward, the ancient halberd in his hand pointing directly at the black-clothed youth's throat. Stop him! When they saw that Lin Dong actually dared to make his move in front of all of them, the black-clothed youth's entourage sternly shouted out. Immediately, a dozen men charged forward, however, before they could touch Lin Dong, a halberd shadow swept out and ruthlessly slammed into their bodies, directly blowing them away as they vomited blood. Humph! Upon seeing Lin Dong easily tear apart the thick defensive lines and charge towards him, the youth in black's expression turned ugly. A long green spear appeared in his hand, emitting a green glow and an aura that was in no way weak. Evidently, it was also a rather high-grade soul treasure. This black-clothed youth was about 25 or 26 years old, and his strength was not weak. He had also reached the perfect Yuan Dan stage and the faction behind him was evidently no small fry. Without the support of a huge amount of resources, it would be extremely difficult to reach this cultivation stage at such an age. With this kind of strength and the soul treasure in his hands, the black-clothed youth was clearly rather conceited. Given his strength, there were very few among the younger generation who could defeat him in Dayang province. Hence, he naturally would not withdraw when faced with Lin Dong who looked even younger than himself. Green Light Kill The youth in black's arm trembled as green light burst out from the spear in his hand, covering the entire forest in a green glow, as countless cold shadows ruthlessly shot towards Lin Dong's vital points. Ding 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 ding! In response to the youth in black's attack, Lin Dong merely sneered. With a thought, the skin all over his body turned bronze, and when the cold shadows hit his body, waves of sparks erupted but did not come close to breaking Lin Dong's defenses at all. Upon seeing this, the youth in black's expression finally started changing. However, without waiting for him to retreat, Lin Dong abruptly moved forward and grabbed the green spear, while his other palm swiftly engraved itself onto the former's chest. Bang! A ferocious wind erupted as the youth in black was directly blown away by this attack, while the green spear in his hand was snatched away by Lin Dong. The youth in black's sorry figure landed on the ground, his face colored with shades of green and red, but he did not seem injured at all. When Lin Dong saw this, he was not too surprised. When his attack landed on his opponent just moments ago, he had already realized that the latter seemed to be wearing an inner armor with extremely strong defensive capabilities. It might even be a soul treasure with defensive properties. I'll take this as repayment. Lin Dong held the ancient halberd in one hand, and the green spear in the other, as he cast a glance at the youth in black and casually remarked. You dare! The youth in black's face was green as he fiercely retorted. Lin Dong paid no attention to the youth as he turned and he took giant strides towards the forest. When the surrounding entourage saw this, they did not dare to obstruct him. The strength that Lin Dong had displayed made them understand that no one here was his match. Just as Lin Dong was about to enter the forest, an indifferent laughter suddenly sounded out from the skies, He he, little brother, my son was indeed wrong. However, this little brother has already taught him a lesson. I do hope that you can leave the green Yuan spear behind. The sudden arrival of this voice caused Lin Dong to pause in his step. His expression was calm as he turned around to look at the figure which descended from the skies. He was not surprised as he had already sensed this person's existence when he attacked earlier. The figure which descended from the skies was clothed in green. He was not young, and one could see a few strands of white hair on his head while his eyes were bright and full of expression, giving him a slightly dignified appearance. Evidently, he was someone of high status and was currently smiling as he gazed at Lin Dong with deep eyes which seemed to conceal a little profoundness. Initial Form Creation Stage Lin Dong cast a glance at this person, and was not afraid at all. With his current strength, he was already able to contend against a practitioner at this level. Hence, he thrust the green spear into the ground, as his indifferent voice sounded out, causing rage to surface on the black cloth youths and the rest's faces. 
it is possible for you to take it back. Use pure Yuan pills in exchange for it. Chapter 205, Diteng Kid, you have a death wish. When he saw that Lin Dong remained so obstinate even at this juncture, the face of that young man dressed in black clothes turned steely gritted, as he gritted his teeth and said. Haha, this young brother, if you lack pure Yuan pills, my Di family can provide you with some. After all, it's our practice to establish good ties everywhere. That middle-aged man dressed in green robes was evidently stunned by Lin Dong's direct manner. Nonetheless, he was a pretty sharp fellow as he replied with a smile and did not lose his composure. 20,000 pure Yuan pills. I believe this to be a fairly reasonable price. Lin Dong gently smiled as he said. When he heard this amount, the facial expression of that young man dressed in black clothes turned uglier. In fact, even the smile on that middle-aged man's face dimmed. This was obviously a extortion as 20,000 pure Yuan pills was no trivial amount. Instantly, the atmosphere stealthily turned increasingly tense. As if he did not detect the stealthy change in the atmosphere, a smile was still plastered on Lin Dong's face. However, inside his body, he had begun to slowly activate Great Sun Thunder Yuan. Faintly, an extremely microscopic thunder sound spread forth together with a unique shockwave. This unique shockwave could not be detected by most ordinary individuals. However, that middle-aged man seemed to have detected it. Instantly, a solemn expression fleeted across his eyes. Father, this kid is simply too much. That young man dressed in black clothes gritted his teeth as he said, We have so many people around, as long as we summon them over, he will not be able to escape. When he heard those words, that middle-aged man's eyes sparkled for a moment as he stared right at Lin Dong, who was smiling back at him. Moments later, he gradually shook his head. He was a cautious man by nature and he could detect a dangerous scent coming from the latter's body. Furthermore, Considering the unique circumstances today, it was best for him to avoid making an additional enemy. Haha, <laughs> 20,000 pure Yuan pills? All right, I will treat it as making a friend. As magnanimous smile emerged on that middle-aged man's face, as he stared at Lin Dong and said with a smile. Father. When he saw that the middle-aged man had actually chose to compromise, the facial expression of that young man dressed in black instantly changed as he hurriedly shouted out. However, before he could speak, he was instantly stopped by a stern look from the former. Instantly, he could only suppress the rage inside his heart. Lin Dong was similarly shocked by the fact that he chose to compromise. At first, he thought that the latter would fail to withstand his provocations and choose to attack him. However, as things stand, it saved him a little trouble. After all, for a broke fellow like him, 20,000 pure Yuan pills was a substantial fortune. That middle-aged man dressed in green robes was a decisive man. After he spoke, he took out a Qunkin bag from his sleeves, before he passed it to Lin Dong with a smile, Little brother, here are 20,000 pure Yuan pills. As he stared at that Qunkin bag, a glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes before he unceremoniously reached out and grabbed that Qunkin bag. However, just as his palm reached out, an exceptionally powerful force suddenly emerged from Di Teng's hands. With regards to this incoming force, Lin Dong's face remained calm. A bronze-like green tinge suddenly appeared on his hand. At the same time, below his skin, a golden glow gushed forth. Then, as his palm jutted forth, he directly countered against that invasive force. Boom! A extremely microscopic sound echoed out from the Qunkin bag, as Di Teng's huge hands began to stealthily tremble. His facial expression also began to change. However, promptly, with a smile, he loosed his grip and asked with a smile, May I know this little brother's name? We seem to have never heard of such an outstanding young man in Daeang province. Just an unknown figure quietly training in the woods. Lin Dong gently smiled as he unceremoniously snatched that Qunkin bag. Then, he tossed the Qing Yuan spear in his hands back to Di Teng, as the latter quickly received it. 
Di Tang grabbed onto the Qing Yuan spear. However, his eyes remained peeled on Lin Dong's body. After that brief stealthy exchange, he could deduce just how exceedingly powerful this young man was. This caused him to be extremely shocked. At such a tender age, yet he was already this skilled. There was probably no one in this entire Dayang province that could match up to this genius. Since there are no further matters, I shall take my leave. Lin Dong could sense that the current surrounding atmosphere was slightly odd. In the surrounding area, there were several hidden presents around and most of them are probably members of the Di family. However, as for why there were so many people inside these deep mountains, Lin Dong understood that now was not the right time to find out. Hence, he cupped his fist at Di Teng, before he turned to leave. When he saw Lin Dong leave suavely, a glint flashed across Di Teng's eyes. However, in the end, he did not make a move. Instead, he allowed Lin Dong and Little Flame to depart, as they finally vanished inside the dense forest. Father, how can we just let him go so easily? He has hurt so many of our men. After he saw Lin Dong depart, that Da Yun could resist no longer as he asked. Their Di family has never suffered such injustice, especially when they were merely dealing with one individual. What more do you expect? He has already shown us mercy. Else, if you not be merely injuries. Di Tang casually replied. Father, don't we have you around? Based on your current creation stage abilities, can't you easily handle him? Di Yun pursed his lips as he asked. When he heard his words, that Di Yun was silent for a moment, before he said, even if I personally attack, we can only defeat him at most. However, we will be unable to kill him. At that time, we would have made an additional foe. Furthermore, in a few days' time, when that Thunder Crystal Beast levels up, we will need all our strength to ambush and kill it. Hence, it would not be wise to offend him now. Is that fellow so strong? Father, you are a creation stage elite practitioner. When he heard that even Di Tang could not confidently kill Lin Dong, that Di Yun instantly disbelievingly asked. That kid is merely half a step away from reaching creation stage. Furthermore, I can sense that this man is truly too dangerous and he has many hidden aces up his sleeves. If we truly fought, the outcome of our battle would be highly uncertain. Furthermore, the Lu family is also hunting after the Thunder Crystal Beast. If we attack this person now, we would undoubtedly be pushing him towards the Lu family. At that time, we will have even more trouble in our hands. Di Tang said. We let that kid off the hook too easily. He took 20,000 of our pure Yuan pills. Di Yun gritted his teeth as he shouted out in rage. Let's take care of the Thunder Crystal Beast first. If we can obtain the Thunder Crystal, I will have the opportunity to advance to creation and transformation stage, or perhaps that legendary Nirvana stage. Once this matter is resolved, we can look for that man again. If he is willing to work for my Di family, that would be good news. However, if he rejects, at that time we will force him to spit all of those pills out. Di Tang casually said. A killing intent could be faintly heard from his tone. It seems like he was also extremely displeased with Lin Dong's actions. When he heard his words, that Di Yun finally nodded his head. Then, his eyes turned to stare at the spot where Lin Dong had disappeared, as a malicious glint flashed in his eyes. Thunder Crystal Beast, what is that thing? Standing on a large tree in the dense forest, Lin Dong recalled traces of his mental energy that he had sent out for scouting purposes. Then, he turned to little Martin, who was standing on his shoulder, and asked it. Thunder Crystal Beast. Ha, I didn't expect such a beast to exist here. Little Martin's claws rubbed on its fury cheeks, as a shocked expression surfaced in its eyes. This is a peculiar demonic beast. It does not feed on blood and flesh, but rather it feeds on lightning bolts. This demonic beast is extremely formidable. However, each time it levels up, there will be a period where it becomes highly vulnerable. Judging by their conversation previously, it seems like we have ran into such a situation. 
What use is it? Lin Dong asked. There is a thunder crystal inside the thunder crystal beast that contains an immense amount of pure thunder energy. If you are able to obtain it, not only could you unlock the final inner channel, perhaps you can even master bronze thunder body. In fact, you could even progress to fourth seal symbol master. Most importantly, after you refine that thunder crystal, once you reach creation stage, you can create thunderbolts using your Yuan power. That ability is truly formidable. When he heard little Martin's string of words, Lin Dong's eyes turned feverish red instantly as his breathing turned increasingly ragged. Recently, he had been extremely troubled by that final inner channel because regardless of how much effort he had put in, that final inner channel simply refuses to yield. However, this so-called thunder crystal could actually unlock it. However, an ordinary thunder crystal beast's strength is similar to a Qi creation stage practitioner. A few stronger ones can even match up to a manifestation stage practitioner. Based on your current strength, it would be quite difficult. When he heard Little Martin's following words, Lin Dong felt like a bucket of ice water was just poured over him. Instantly, he was taken aback. Then, he looked at Little Martin before he said with a smile, Don't worry. Though I can't defeat that thunder crystal beast on my own, don't I have those fellow to assist me? From their conversation previously, it seems like there is also a Lu family that plans to attack that thunder crystal beast. In that case, I will let them make the first move, before I swoop in at the end just like a fisherman. As he saw that cunning smile on Lin Dong's face, little Martin rolled his eyes before he said, Kid, even if fail to become a fisherman, don't become a shrimp for them to devour. Lin Dong waved his hands. The fact that he dared to suggest this idea indicated that he had some confidence in his abilities. Right now, he was no longer afraid of facing a in evil form creation stage practitioner. Furthermore, with aid from the soul puppet and little Martin, even if he encountered an elite practitioner like Wang Yan, perhaps he would not be able to win, however, he could definitely retreat safely. Let me have a good rest tonight. From tomorrow onwards, I shall follow these guys. Ha, if you plot against me, you must be prepared to lose it all. Lin Dong stretched his back, as he stared at the Di family troops that were located far away. A coldness was hidden within the smile on his face. That thunder crystal, will definitely be mine. 